What's up? My name is Kamal, and I'm um, just going to make a video on how to remove the roof racks on our 2006 Porsche Cayenne S. I haven't done this before, but it looks like it's pretty easy. Um, the reason we're taking these off is we're going to be painting a bunch of stuff today. Uh, with this being in 2006, it is the titanium edition. So you can see like the spoiler, all the trim, and then even the wheels are the titanium gray. Um, my dad, when he got this car, didn't have roof racks, so he got them put on, but they're in this like generic silver, and you can see up top here, just the sun beating on them has faded them a little bit. Um, and I always kind of thought that if he had bought the car brand new, I guess if you order them with it, I kind of feel like they paint those titanium gray too. Just makes sense, so. Yeah, we'll uh, just pop these off, and hopefully the paint will match well. And, uh, yeah. So up top here on the inside, you can see there's actually these three little rubber pieces. Um, I'm pretty sure we just pop these off. Yeah, and there's a screw in there. Not sure like what size it'll be. It almost looks like a hex. So yeah, the um. Just the normal hex, the uh, number five is the one that fits in these. Yeah, so interesting little piece. So these pieces, yeah, this has like a little rubber spring. I guess there's like a little slot where you can put them in here. And that's just uh, take this and show them. Kind of just slides in this gap right here. And you can slide it to where it needs to be. And then um, it just goes in there. The screw goes through there. Looks like it just has. Kind of like just like a rubber gasket type thing. You can kind of see, uh, hadn't been off in a while, so it kind of stuck a little bit. So uh, yeah, that's pretty easy. Um, I didn't realize that these would just kind of be floating. I thought they'd have something that's screwed in, but, but yeah. So yeah, we're just gonna get the other side and then um, just clean up under here before we put it back on. All right, well, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if this was helpful. Yeah, that was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. Just these tiny little hex screws. Um, I guess the only kind of difficult thing is just kind of have to line them up kind of back where they were. Might have to take this off and on a little bit to get them perfect. But now that it's not like stuck to it, it should be pretty easy to just lift up and adjust these. So yeah, we're just going to get the other side. And uh, I'll post a little thing at the end here after we paint them so you guys can see what the final result ended up turning out like. So thanks for watching again, and we'll see y'all later. Peace. All right, so here's the finished result. It's definitely far from perfect. You can tell it, it's kind of a, a little spotty and like textury, but at least the color matches pretty well to the other gray on the car. And here's the other side. Um, yeah, I mean, the color actually matched pretty well. The problem with why the coverage isn't like perfect is uh, mainly just because we were painting a couple things. We were painting the piece that goes on the rear of the trunk. We painted the roof racks. Uh, and then we also painted the all the grill pieces in here, uh, which these, if you look pretty closely, you can also see the coverage is not perfect on them. Painted this little mesh piece. Like I was saying, we painted the bottom half of this front bumper here and the uh, and the bottom half of the 
rear bumper as well. And I basically focused mainly on just getting the bumpers with the best coverage, but also the fact that I had the bumpers hanging when I was painting them and basically all these grill pieces, the roof racks were on the ground. So when you have when you're painting in the can or whatever you're using is angled that much, it might not work as well. I think that kind of contributed to why they look the way they do, but it's all right. I mean, the car's uh, not perfect anyways, but I definitely like them uh, better with this matching color. It matches close enough. Looks maybe even a little darker. So yeah, I mean, it came out good enough considering that the car's not perfect anyways. So we're happy with it. We like that it matches and I mean, it already had those sunspots on them anyways, so at least it looks better than that. I'm gonna be putting out some more videos soon about putting the front end together, the rear end together. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. It helps me and Miranda out. And uh, yeah, it also will allow the other videos for this build to pop up on your feed. So thanks again for watching and I'll see y'all later. Peace.